So let's try one for the guitar. Basically what you would do is just bend this again to make that initial loop and then you want to bend it back and then we can just bend this one around to do the top part of the guitar. This one we can wind around after. We just bend them down and then we can bend this one up straight up. We can do a kind of a just a triangle to represent the top of the guitar and then bend this one out and this one down. We'll just try to echo the other side. And then for this, we're gonna have to do some kind of like loop thing for the peg to go through. So let's just take this and do just a circle at the back. I'm just gonna go around. So it's got like this little circle thing at the back that you can barely see it. And then just bring this one out to make the bottom part of the guitar. We can just use these uh, parts of the looping pliers. Just bring it out that way. And then we're gonna just form the spring loop. So just bring this one around a few times, two or three times, just around here. And then we need to go back and then through there. So we're just going to figure out where we want the bend. Just gonna bring this this way and then back this way. Maybe a little bit more. Bring it back that way. And then we're just gonna pinch this one. I'm gonna wind this one around here to secure it in place. You could actually cut it longer and then just wind it all the way up there. That would be really nice. Give it a little pinch. And then from here, just decide where you wanna bend it. Just give it a little bend back. Give it a pinch. Pull this one out. And then here we could just make a little circle to represent the round part, the hole in the guitar. So just take this, bring it around. And then if you just wanna make a bit of a spiral, you can do that. Just bring it right around. You don't want it too big either or it's going to get in the way. So we're just going to bring that one around here. And then you can just give it a little clip. If you want to file it, you can. So now you have this fun stylized guitar and what you want to do is just pull this back, stick it in that hole on the side. And then this one, you just pull it back and hook it in there. And there you have your funky guitar carabiner. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.